Hey, what's going on? Thought I would uh, go ahead and do a review of my new boat. It's a Sportsman's Masters 227 Platinum Edition. Uh, it's painted with ghost gray and black on the bottom, so two-toned on it. It also has the T-top, which we'll get into. Uh, you see it has a tandem axle trailer, and I've already put my boat name on there, the Thriller Brazil. It is right around 22 and a half feet long, um, and I have it powered with a Yamaha 200 on it, uh, which pushes this boat very well, and I'll get into the specs here in a little bit. So let me climb aboard. Actually, we'll just take a look on the outside first. So this thing um, up on the front, I have a Minn Kota Taroba. It's the 36-volt, uh, 112-pound thrust um, I pilot version. It is not the self-deploying. Uh, they kind of talked me out of buying one of those just because they said that they had so many problems with it. Um, it does have the quick release on it, so it makes it real nice when you're going somewhere. You can actually pop it off. It weighs a little bit, probably, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds, but easily manageable taking it off. I put it in my truck um, whenever I'm out at the coast. Uh, nice winching system. You can actually winch this thing up while it's on dry whenever it's on the trailer itself, so if you can't pull it up all the way, it actually has enough power to pull it up. You can tell it has the integrated navigation lights in here, which are very cool, so you don't get stuff snagged on the front. Maybe if you're cast netting or whatnot. It has a nice grab handle right here. Um, and again, tandem axle trailer. And since we're back here, might as well talk about a couple things. One is the swim platform. Um, this ladder is awesome. It's a three-step um, ladder. Just pop it out, boom, goes all the way down. Real easy to get in and out of this boat with this thing. Uh, it's also got a bungee cord on it uh, to keep the steps up, but I haven't had any problems with that. Um, you can also see it has jack plates. So this is the Platinum Edition, so it did come with these. I mean, excuse me, not jack plates, uh, trim tabs. Trim tabs are awesome for this boat. You can push the nose down on takeoff. You have barely any rise on it. This thing also has underwater lights, so it has two really bright blue lights. They're sea blaze. Um, and then you have some out holes there. I installed another uh, fish finder, my other Garmin. It's a 92 um, deep water with side imaging and down imaging. And then I also had them put on a jack plate. Jack plate is definitely a necessity if you're going to go down to the coast. Uh, this boat has about a 12-inch draft, and it's only achieved if you can put it, the jack plate up. Um, I went ahead and got the Yamaha 200. Great motor, pushes this thing about 45 miles an hour with a half tank of gas and me in it. Other trim tab, other light. All right, now let's go ahead and get in the boat. And we'll start back here. Um, at the back, you have a cleat on each side, which is nice for tying off. You also have a cup holder. Plenty of cup holders. I think there's six stainless steel cup holders throughout this boat. All right, so this here is a lie well. You can actually see it has a little bit of water in it. I just got back from the lake fishing. Um, so these things have high-speed pickups. And if you're going and you have this thing open, it will fill, this, fill it up. This side over here also has the Pro Air on it and it, uh, each one of these have lights uh, you can see it right there it's got a little light in here so uh, early in the morning when you got your fish in there you can still see them it's really cool the other side live well is exactly the same except without the pro air um, and then this right here big casting deck and then this part of the casting deck you grab right here pull forward lift it up and boom becomes a seat It'll fit two adults or three kids on there very easily. And then you can grab it from here, pop it open, and you can tell the amount of storage that's in here. Um, so a couple things that you'll see, it has a fuel, um, fuel water separator right there. Everything in this boat is really easy to get to. I have two buckets in here, and they actually have recesses where the buckets will fit. So I have a cast net and my raw water wash down, which I'll show you here in a second, hose. Um, you also have your pumps, which are very accessible to get to for your live wells. 
one there. And then you also have these back here. So there's your bilge pump, your depth uh, sounder, your transducer right there. And then so everything is very easy to get to. All right, and then pop this thing back up. All right, and fold that back down and kind of push it in with the knees. Boom, done. All right, this one again, so it has a platinum edition, so it has speakers there. Two speakers in the back, which are nice. Um, this thing comes with the four rocket launcher holder right here. And then up on the T-top, there's another four. So you have eight. And then on the side, you have king rod holders, which are really nice if you're going king fishing or just trolling. Um, and you have two additional speakers up here. And then this thing is loaded with lights. So you have blue lights up here. Um, and then the main nav light, which is this one here, you can turn blue or red, which is kind of cool. Or excuse me, white or red. Um, and then you also have, see these right here? Those are misters. It has two misters on this thing that work off of the freshwater tank, 13 gallon freshwater tank. It's nice if it's really still. If the wind's blowing at all, it really doesn't help much, but uh, you know, it's kind of a nifty little idea. Up here is an electronics box. I'll open this thing up because I did have them add a marine radio, I have the Garmin, and it is actually hooked up to the NMEA 2K bus, so it'll transmit, it gets the uh, GPS coordinates from my fish finders. So if I ever have to hit the distress button right here, it'll automatically transmit my coordinates for me. And then I have it mounted up here. It's nice as a dry box too. This is where I keep my wallet and my keys when we're going. Up underneath here, you have three switches. One is for the T-top lights, then the spreader lights, which are uh, these ones right here. So the back ones, and then it's also got one up here, and I'll show you what I added up here in a second. Um, this one also has the place where you can connect a um, full screen, um, plastic screen basically, that goes around this thing so you don't get splashed. Uh, it has the compass, nice windshield. I added a rear view mirror for uh, whenever I'm towing my kid. Um, it's a requirement in the state of Texas. Also, this T-top is beefy. You can climb on it, act it as a uh, monkey bars if you want. It also has pre-rigged for taco outriggers on it. All right, so here's the gadgets. I'm gonna turn them on real quick. Down here, inside this little box, there is a switch here. It has two primary batteries, um, which is nice because if you've ever been into a situation where you are listening to the stereo and your battery runs out and you can't start your, your motor, it kind of sucks. So this one uh, has two batteries for that, so you don't do that. Up on the front here is all your switches. So you have your nav and anchor light, courtesy lights, which are blue lights that are all in this boat. I mean, on the side here, it lights up blue. Underneath here in the footwell, it lights up blue. And up in the front, it lights up blue. Also, you have your live well light right here. And then you have your uh, pair and recycle or recirculate. So this is uh, the uh, Pro Air. Um, and then recirculate for your tanks. And then ACC, this one is actually used for the water pump um, for the fresh water wash down. And then this one here is for the lights, the blue lights out the back. Um, over here you have horn. And then you have your main electrical switch here, bilge. It's also an auto bilge, so it's got a little light to let you know if it is bilging by itself. Then you have your two live well switches here to run your pumps. And then you have your wa raw water wash down here. And the raw water wash down hooks up right underneath there. Uh, these are also gunnel rod holders, so you have two on either side, which are nice. All right, so this one comes with the GPS map. It's an XS, so it's a nine inch um, Garmin. Um, pretty nice. Um, and then this is the one that I added. It also came with a JL Audio. 
system, the Media Master 50, and this thing cranks. Uh, this has the upgraded steering wheel, Edison steering wheel, or Edson, um, with the speed knob, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's also power steering, and this is where your power steering fluid goes. So here is where your trim tabs are, and what's really cool about these, it has the lights to let you know how far up or down your trim tabs are, and it tells you right there. If it's blinking, your tabs are all the way up. Um, this is the ignition switch, and then this is for my jack plate, trim up and down. And then I have my Yamaha throttle. The only thing that I do not like about this is you don't have to click anything to put it in gear. It just goes into gear and it will start going forward or backwards. So you got to make sure that it's in neutral or you'll do like what I did and jam it right into a dock. Uh, it has two cup holders on the front as well. And then down here has a little handy storage place. It's kind of cool. And then below that is a nice place to rest your feet when you're up on the seats. So I'll kind of show you the seats here. They are bolstered seats and you can pull them down to make a full seat. And then also underneath you have a footrest that folds out which is really cool. And then back here I have the Icon cooler it came with with a slide out. And I have it locked up so nobody steals it right now. Um, but to get it out of there is pretty easy. You just kind of pull up on this tab right here and pop the, uh, the sportsman cooler out. All right, then you have two more speakers up front. I added the C deck um, ruler. This thing is awesome. It's easy to wash off. It, uh, it's got 3M sticky tape on it, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, so this is the little side hatch. And what's really cool about this is, hopefully you can see it. Yeah, there we go. I have a porta potty in here. I hope that I never have to use it, but it's there just in case. You have a couple pumps. One is for your um, raw water wash down, and then the other one is for the uh, misters. I also have a three bank charger in here because I have the 112 pound thrust. Um, you have your place where you can hook up a whole bunch of accessories, so I've added a couple more in here. And then this actually is a netting that uh, kind of houses all the stuff that's behind here. So the two primary batteries are behind here as well. Um, lots of storage in here. You can actually get in here and sit, which is kind of cool. And it has a light up here just in case. And then that's your horn. Um, and then this is where I keep my safety gear also and some paper towels, things like that. All right, so up here, another cleat. That's where the fuel cap is. This is where you can actually put uh, backrests. I have the full pillow system, so you, pillows go, or cushions go over this entire front deck, which is awesome. When I have it, uh, the family out, we put those things on, it becomes nice. I talk, pop the trolling motor off, and it's a great family boat at that point. Huge cast deck, too. I mean, this thing's awesome. Uh, cup holders there, cup holder on that side. And then got a place for a nice seat if you want. I'm going to turn you around here so you can see the front of the T-top. All right, so I added this uh, it's a 29-inch light bar on the front. And this thing is bright as anything. It's like 340 watts. Got it off of Amazon and wired it in. Pretty simple. Um, and then I got my fishing tackle here. Hold on. So this is a very comfortable seat. Holds, you know, you can put two adults on there easily. And it's also another live well. I just use it for storage. I don't need three live wells. You can also use this thing as a cooler. It is fully insulated. Those are the other connectors right here for where the um, front splash guard goes. And there are also two other speakers up front here. So this is a step, I'm trying to get the shadow off, a little um, step area, but it's a cubby hole too. So this is where your Freshwater wash down is right there. Plug a hose into it. I keep uh, some safety gear in there because it does not lock. And this is where you add your fresh water. Uh, they tell you to put distilled water in there uh, to make sure it doesn't clog up your misters. Then on either side, you have rod lockers. This thing will hold five rods each. And there, there's an identical one on the other side. I have my foot pedal right now for my trolling motor in there. And then it has these little bungees to where you can put the rod holders in there and then that way they don't jump around. Then up here, 
is an enormous fish box. Uh, you can use it as storage, a fish box. We actually had uh, two 20 pounds of ice when we went out to the coast. It held that 20 pounds of ice in 100 degree weather all day long for 16 hours. Um, you can also use it as a cooler if you need to. And then on this side over here, same thing with the rod locker, another five. And then up here is an awesome anchor locker. So I went ahead and got a nice big anchor. This is also where the trolling motor plugs in, which is great. So you can see here, flip these things over. And then that way you don't have to worry about the uh, anchor moving around. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, on the top of the T-top here I have the trolling motor sensor uh, to let you know the directional sensor and then also a nice whip antenna. Um, so